are you looking forward to this documentary and are you expecting it to bring out any emotions for you? Well, I am looking forward to it. I, can't, I really can't wait to see it. Um, you know, I, I, you know, I don't know if it's, I was fortunate or unfortunate enough to have played in the Michael Jordan era. You know, I think I got in the league a year or two ahead of him and then I had to experience his whole career uh, for the most part from his beginning to the end. And um, so I'm looking forward to it. You know, I think it'll bring back some fond memories. Uh, it also will bring back some tough memories for me as well. I was on that New York Nick team uh, that got up against them in the playoffs. Uh, we were up 2-0 and we lost the lead and had that tough game five. Um, you know, I was fortunate enough, and I think I have heard they're going to tell a story about uh, Jordan against the Atlanta Hawks where we, we held him to one of his career low at the time, and he actually did walk in our locker room uh, after the game to, to let us know uh, because we played them the next night again to let us know that he couldn't, he was looking forward to playing us again. Uh, I mean, that, that was the coolest thing I've ever seen him do. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to take you back to your Marquette days in the early stages. Was his name as big then as a guy like Zion Williamson? Like, what did you hear? No, no, he, he wasn't a big deal, uh, Carl. He, he really wasn't. Um, you know, I, I played with, with Michael. Uh, I think Michael was going to a senior in high school. Uh, I was going to go to a fresh. I was going to a freshman in college, and we played in the sports festival. Um, and this guy, Buzz Peterson was Michael's uh, roommate, and he also was going to North Carolina. At the time, Buzz was the guy that North Carolina wanted. Michael was the second guy. Uh, and then when Michael got to college, obviously, uh, you know, he was a good player. He was one of the best players in the NCAA. But no one saw, I don't think anyone saw, uh, like Zion and, and LeBron, when they came in, we expected greatness. You know, Jordan, you know, first of all, he wasn't even the first pick in the draft. You know, he was more going to be, here comes another good player in the NBA. So what set him apart from your perspective when he got to the NBA? About everything. I, I, I got to say, um, right away I saw it when we played them the first time. Uh, the, the, the one thing other than his talent that set him apart was his drive and the intensity that he played basketball at. I actually remember after the game thinking, I'm a very intense player. I had to be. I wasn't talented enough to be. Uh, I had to be an intense, hard-working player. And I remember after the game telling Dominique Wilkins, man, I don't, there's just no way that guy can play that hard at that intensity every night. Uh, and then 12 years later, we were saying the same thing. He, he never let up. And I thought um, he's the strongest, the most athletic, uh, he had a very, very high basketball IQ, fundamentally sound. He wasn't a great shooter early on, and he became a great shooter. Uh, but early on, you knew that we were in trouble. Uh, this guy's going to be great. You mentioned your intensity, and we all know you're a fierce competitor. But we're also going to see that tonight with this documentary a little bit more into his competitive side. Um, did you guys ever have any run-ins being two competitive guys going up against each other? Oh, yeah, yeah. We actually lost our friendship. I mean, we were, we were really good friends. Uh, you know, we were uh, on the Playboy All-American team uh, in college, and we spent some time together. Uh, he came over to my house, and, uh, and then we were good friends until I got to the Knicks. And then we had this a couple of big run-ins. One, I remember us grabbing each other's uh, shirts, and, I mean, we came, almost came to blows. Uh, and it absolutely affected our friendship for a long time. You know, you'd be amazed how long that, that lasts with, with players, even after their careers. Um, but I had, I mean, listen, he was so much better than me. Uh, the, uh, every night you played him, you had to convince yourself, he is a better player, but not tonight. You know, that was what you had to take yourself to. Uh, and you had to do whatever you could do to stop him. So, uh, yeah, we definitely butted heads a couple of times. Playing against each other, but then also playing with each other in that all-star game. How was that experience playing on the same team? That was awesome. You know, first of all, I was in Chicago. And, you know, the best part about that game was, and where Michael at least made me feel like an all-star for a moment, was at halftime, Michael got up and told our coach, Mike Teller was the coach of the all-star team. He said, hey, coach, I'm not losing this game. 
or I don't lose at home. I'm not losing. Uh, play Doc, play any name, a couple other guys that want to win. I want to play with the guys that want to win today. Uh, I don't want guys here who just want to goof around and play have a show. So that made me feel good. He wanted me on the floor doing the All-Star game so we can win. That was a pretty cool moment for me. Okay, off subject, if the NBA comes back, what do you think about Clippers and Bucks possibly meeting in the finals? What would that matchup look like? Well, first of all, I'm all for that right now. I think Bud and I would say, okay, let's do that, you know, because first it would mean that we're both in the finals. Uh, you know, they got the best of us during the regular season. Uh, uh, we had a very close game at home, surprisingly, without Kawhi or Paul George, and then they blew us out in Milwaukee. Um, but I would like that challenge. I, I think it would be a heck of a series. Um, you know, uh, the Bucks are so well coached. Uh, they have, you know, Giannis, who is just an incredible player. Uh, but we're pretty good, too. And uh, I, would, I would welcome that challenge for sure.